Uh, did we just cheat the system? Like, neither of these chests is locked, right? We can just go for them? Because, yeah, we were able to just open it last time. Oh, it looks like the super weapon can move more than one space at a time. So yeah, he's just that thing's just gonna target as many people as it can every single time. Uh, we got a few turns to go before everyone's done in the ruins, so I guess we'll just hide out in the little hidey holes. Are they all going to be like this? Have we found a way to cheese the ruins for this entire game? They do seem to work differently this time around. Uh, yeah, we can get up here from here. Apparently Phil Brooklyn followed 27 minutes ago. Thank you for the follow. I don't know if that was during a break, in which case you probably did that to avoid being called out, in which case I apologize, or it's possible that my follow notification is not working right now. Yeah, the whole thanks for shouting, for the thanks for following shout out thing on Twitch has always seemed a bit weird to me. Like, it's a known fact that people will follow you, like, during breaks or wait till the end of streams to follow specifically because they don't like being called out. Yeah, we just get the life ring. We, did, we just cheated ourselves a life ring. We just bypassed the thief entirely. It's just like, uh, Julian goes down outside, and he's all like, Oh shit, things are getting serious out there, I guess I'm gonna bail. And he just left the treasure behind. Can we take the thief exit? Mind you, this means that we have to wait even longer for them to bail out of the ruins here, but... Yeah, this was free! But anyways, yeah, I've heard from, like, the, the people saying they don't like being shouted out for following. I have not heard the converse side of that. Like, the, the contingent who insists on being thanked for following. But for some reason, it's just common twi uh, practice on Twitch. Everybody does it, so I just decide to do it. It's one of those things where it's like, there's got to be some reason for it, right? Some reason why they all do it? You know what, I'm just going to assume that uh, that the light tunnel over there just leads nowhere, and we're just going to go out the way we came in. Also, for what it's worth, uh, Edmund might as well equip this for now, even if we... We probably give it to, uh, to Julian once we're uh, done with this fight here. This is kind of a silly fight, to be honest. A lot of time spent waiting. Still, I appreciate how they're giving us the uh, the gimmick fights right from the very beginning here. Scenario 2 had very, very straightforward battles for most of the game. And then a little over halfway through, pretty much all the battles in the second half of the game have something interesting going on in them. So yeah, here they, here they, it just seems to be 
variety right from the very beginning, which is pretty cool. And it's not bullshit variety like the other games have tended to do. Where it's like you have a unique battle of some kind, but it's bullshit. <laughs> where it's just like random things happen around the map and you just take damage in ways that you can't really predict. Where you gotta experiment basically through trial and error to figure out the way that the battle gimmick actually works. Since this one does such little damage, you actually have a fair bit of room for error to uh, experiment and figure out how it works. And it's pretty straightforward in the first place. So we need to, we need to group everyone up for some healing. Gracia's probably got enough uh, MP to just heal everyone for the whole rest of the fight. Also, I think we've got a MP restoration item on someone. Oh, this is working out perfectly. Eh, not quite perfectly. Then Gracia is going to get his turn right away, and then we just heal everyone. Or, okay, Julian can move over here. Hmm. Okay, when the hell is it going to be Gracia's turn? Did he just miss a turn? Agility 20. 17. 26. 24. Well, whatever. We'll do it this way. And hope that that doesn't... Okay, good. Yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Really, even though it doesn't do a lot of damage, the super weapon is still a bit of a force to be reckoned with just because it messes with the combat math a little bit. Like, if a couple enemies get attacks on us and reduce us to 7 HP, that means that that character dies because of the super weapon. So it's just one more layer of damage upon everything else that the enemies can do to us. I mean, hell, it was the, it was the, the, sca the balancing factor that uh, ended in Julian's death last time around, so... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Just move everyone up the field and keep them grouped together. Oh, seriously? He can't get behind the rock there? Hmm, this isn't great. I'm actually going to keep him here, and uh, he'll be ready for when the Pegasus moves up. Which he's not going to do. Okay, so I guess Julian's just going to kind of fall behind here. I'm actually going to hold off on the aura. We'll let them all take one more hit and then heal them up. Oh, it's not even going to go for as many people as it could get. I have no idea how to pr Oh, you can actually see the thing on the map. It's not terribly impressive looking, but... <laughs> it's not really that big either. Or that's just the little bottom part of it. Like, just the tip. This is actually a bit tricky. Do we run right up? I 
think I actually need to check the turn order here, because this is not... Or you know what? We tried this before. Yeah, the mages are faster than anyone we have in our party, so we don't want Dunhort moving all the way up. We'll do it like this. Ooh, this on the other hand... Ah, not quite. Uh, who's gonna go next? Okay, so Gracia is gonna go last. We'll just move everybody up the field. Keep them a little bit spread out. Ooh, they're consolidating. That's an interesting play. Edmund doesn't really need healing. I don't care if he gets left out of the aura circle jerk. Yeah, this will be fine. Probably. Wish I'd have grouped everyone up closer together. How's he doing on MP, anyways? As long as we have enough for, I'm gonna say, two more auras, I think we'll be fine to finish the fight. There he goes. That's bad. That's not that bad. He was taking more damage from that lizard man, actually. Or no, from the archer. The archer did a bigger crit than that. Uh, so all these guys are about to get lasered, right? Ah. Uh, okay. I don't know if he's do it if he's targeting these guys just because he moves kind of randomly. Or if he specifically did that to avoid targeting his own guys. So that's all we're going to get out of the rock there. Again, I kind of want to get that mage. Hmm, this is dangerous. We'll put Don Hort back with the rest of the crew. Just to make sure that we can get some healing on him. If we run him all the way up, he's in danger of getting ganged up on and taken out. We'll let them come to us. Now, Bridget, on the other hand... This might be too juicy to pass up. Ooh. This might be way too juicy to pass up. We can effectively take him out if this hits. Get him, get him, get him! Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. That solves all of our problems. Oh, and he's missing more than one turn off of it, too. This is glorious. If we can manage to take out these uh, Pegasuses without them getting turns, this is going to be easy. She might even drop them in one shot if she gets the Hypno Arrow. Boom. Headshot. We shat on his head. Um, okay, Julian definitely needs healing. Excellent. This that, that was a perfect round right there. And we even got two auras left, just like I wanted. New spell, new spell! Boo. Yeah, I think we're going to need those auras.
Oh, we got the lizard man too, though. That helps. Um. Yeah, Dunhort's taking the most damage from that stuff, so I'll put him in the safe spot. Also, the lizard man's the higher priority target right now since he's awake. Oh, Bridget can actually go again. Finish these guys off. Yeah, let's just fucking do it. Cause yeah, I, I don't want to hit. I don't want to piss around with these guys. We are slowly getting ticked down by the lightning cannon back there. So yeah, I do want to actually f end this fight sooner rather than later. Tornado 3, that's a bit spooky. Okay, how soon is his turn coming up? Agility 12, so he'll be going last probably. I don't want to group them up, so I'm not going to have him go in on that just yet. On the other hand, if... Oh, really? I thought that... Oh, no, he's one panel out of range. kind of want to get the kill to Julian, to be honest. Oh, but no, if he does move there, then they're going to be... Yeah, him and Don Hort will get magic on. So we'll do it this way. Honestly, archers are really awesome in this game, so I don't think I mind if Kate just gets a ton of levels. Waltz was our MVP in uh, Scenario 2 also, so... Yeah, if Kate just ends up being Waltz 2.0, I am perfectly fine with that. Oh, and that clears off space for Julian to get up here. Okay, I'm going to take a safety save right here, just in case of shenanigans. Like Tornado 3 does 30, da 30 damage or something, but I think we'll be fine. And we'll make a... we'll, yeah, do the last aura here just for the XP. Is he not even going for the tornado? No, he just wants to smack me with the stick. Well, the laser can't even fire that close. Okay, so yeah, we're perfectly safe. Or at least Julian is. He's the only one who really matters at this point. Um, whoops, oh, I wanted Don Hort to spear that guy. I actually kind of do want to get levels to Bridget here. He's a boss, so we probably won't get slept here. I think even a miss gives you, like, 6 XP, though. And it hits anyways! Uh, Edmund, unfortunately, is kind of useless here. That's so weird that he knows Antidote. Is he ever going to learn any other spells? I actually am going to leave it to Julian to get the kill here. There we go. Burn to the ground. No, he doesn't get the level up, though. Or I guess that wasn't a boss, was it? He didn't have the boss flag. He was just at the end of the map. That's a good question. I was just about to comment. It's like, hey, guys. It's no time to stop and take a break. You still got the... 
the giant mushroom shooting lightning at you, but no, apparently it's done. Of course, it's that girl. How, I, how could I forget about that girl? We didn't lose anyone in that last fight, right? If we do get another fight right away here, I don't think we need to egress. Is that another Owl Man? Did the enemies also have an Owl Man? Oh, gross, it's a furry. <laughs> Actually, this is another unique kind of creature that we haven't seen before in this game. That's a weird expression to read on that emote. I can't tell if you're disgusted or offended. <laughs> Honestly, beast people. Oh, yeah, we have seen beast people before in this game. Uh, there was good old Frank. Frank the Wolf Baron back in Scenario 1. He was a pretty cool guy, actually. Shit, who was Grace again? Oh yeah, I kind of classified Grace as a different sort of creature. But yeah, she's probably the same. Are they all part of the same race? They look so different. It's like, this looks like kind of a fox person. Grace looks like kind of a rat person. Frank was obviously a wolf man. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it showed up in her bio. She was a... a Kiantol, which I don't think we saw any of. All of the healers in this game all seem to be in of unique... All the, all the priest class characters seem to be of unique races. Grace was the only one of, the, the only Kiantal we saw in, in, in Scenario 1. Uh, what's his name? Was the only Hobbit we've ever seen. And actually, yeah, Gracia is the only innovator, so yeah. Oh, that's that girl. You know, the girl? The sister of the evil cultist. Janet, I think her name was. So it looks like we've got another fight coming up, just based on the... Jane, that was it. From Remotest. Yep, that is... That is about what I would expect out of a town called Remotest. Oh, the town of Remotest is in the most remote location, you don't say.
Oh, I thought she was going to join us for a second there. Uh, looks like we, we got a long way to go to get up there. Hopefully they won't be blasting super weapon lightning at us again. Defeat it quickly. Are we actually going to have to battle this thing? Okay, we got a new boss theme. Sort of. It's really just the Bolzome cult theme with a kick-ass drum beat, but... So we're attacking the staff? That doesn't seem like it's... Or we're bringing up Gracia to the staff. Um, I don't think we can get up here, so I guess we just go straight down the middle and try to... Actually, these guys aren't going to be able to get into range to do anything to us. What kind of arrow do these guys have? Do they have two or three range? Looks like only two. So yeah, as long as we keep to the center couple tiles, I think we're fine. Or is this, there, this going to be something where we've got to duck behind here to avoid the lightning? Yeah, I've got kind of a bad feel. Oh, and if... <laughs> And if it is still going to shoot lightning at us, uh, we are... We should not be lined up like this. Well, here it comes if it comes. I think we might be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, let's just run up the middle then. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to notice us now. Now the lightning starts. Is that little bounce at the end just cracked me up. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we don't have to deal with the lightning effect again, so we can just charge up the field. Wow, they got a lot of reinforcements all of a sudden. I think also, I think the, the giant spinning mushroom is causing slowdown and technical issues here. I think I might actually throw down a save here. Oh, they can jump down here. Alright, we'll see you later, Maze Whale. I might still be on by the time you get back up, who knows. I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, card games tonight or not. Oh no! Okay, so it's about the same amount of damage, but in a much wider radius. Oh boy. Well, that'll help us with the monk, at least. Oh, and the shit's all damaged now, too. Now, I wonder if that triggered because we crossed the line to draw this guy out, or if it's because it just does it every second turn. Okay. 
Ooh, we're gonna have to split the party here. Uh, you know, I kind of want Edmund to get some XP here. He's fallen a bit behind. Also, I like seeing his stupid little attack animation. Oh, and also he's got that regen ring, so yeah, he can uh, withstand the blast, or at least recover from it a little bit better. Oh wow, Gracia got walloped there. So is this the last fight of Chapter 1? What are we... I think this is only four battles into it so far. You know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like we're gaining weapon and friendship levels way faster. Than, the, than in the last couple scenarios. I wonder if this is actually going to be shorter. Okay, looks like it shoots this thing every round. That's fine, though. Edmund, Edmund will heal himself back up within a few rounds. Kind of counting on you there, Don Hort. Okay, good. We got Edmund to pick up his slack. Um, so we can't... Most of our characters don't actually have enough movement range to move from one safe spot to the next, because that takes, what, one, two, three, four, five, like six movement you need to be able to move between safe spots. Even more, because it looks like this is difficult terrain. So yeah, there's no way to avoid the damage here. Man, Kate is getting, like, more crits than non-crits here. It's kind of insane. Oh, even Julian's just barely not able to make it. Hmm, that dude's got a lot of HP. This should catch no one. Uh, I think we gotta just tank this one. Seriously? You run up all this way and this is what you wanna do with it? Oh, she could go down though if that Pegasus goes next. Uh, we're probably going to have to move her away. How far can this guy move? Mm, pretty far. I'm actually going to have to count the spaces, because I don't know if he can move to the space she's in right now. Uh, seven move. Ah, oh, counting spaces is so tough with the way the cursor works. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, I think she should be safe here. Oh, you know what? Uh, drain also works. I think I like that plan better. Yeah, this should save Gracia the trouble of healing her. Getting some real crackly audio right here. I think that's just kind of the way the Saturn is. Now Julian's going to be in a bit of trouble. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll move. Yeah, the two of them should be fine to take out that one Pegasus. We'll just move these guys up the field to the next safe spot. Yeah, Pegasi ain't nothing. Oh, these lizard men might be a bit of a problem, though. So the Walkeray right here actually has an HP count. I wonder if we could, if we actually have a chance to attack it if we want to. It doesn't seem to occupy space on the map, though. Uh, sadly, I think we're going to have to do the spark here. Bit of a waste of MP, but I want to take this guy down before he goes for Bridget. That was some damage right there. New spell! Boo. Split up the party three ways now. It's always a brilliant stratagem. Yeah, Julian's most of the way to a promotion now. Or I think they, they must promote at level 20. That would make a lot more sense. Probably save those auras till we're up with the boss. Honestly, it's pretty good for us if the enemy is gonna split their forces like this. It's way better than having to fight them all at once at the end. Yeah, with that said, I think we're just going to wait for this lizard man. Yeah, these guys are going to have to move up. And now Julian's actually in a little bit of trouble here. Probably have to resort to using an item to dig Julian out of the hole here. Hmm, can I afford to do this? Can I afford not to do this? Actually, between her and the archer, we might be able to take this guy down. Oh, 25 damage? Yeah, I think we got this. Especially if she crits. Actually, probably only if she crits, but still. Get him! Nice! I think Kate might be the most reliable party member. 
Shining Force history. She always pulls through when we need her. At least, you know, so far. Four battles into the game. Yeah, this is a good move. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, we're rearing up on that uh, Pegasus already. Because, yeah, if Gracia goes down, I believe we lose the fight since he needs to interact with that staff. Actually, I'm gonna go with the halberd here for maximum damage. I'm actually not entirely sure that the two of them will be able to pull this off. Well, now they definitely won't. That really sucks. Yeah, we'd have had him in two. Yeah, this should be fine. This is actually really tricky. The, the difficult terrain uh, makes it way harder to get where you need to in this fight. Why is he splitting his damage? What an idiot. I was afraid he was gonna one sh he was gonna finish off Don Hort there if he got a crit, but he's got that freaking lizard brain holding him back, I guess. Uh, so now I think. What friendship benefit are we even getting here? With Swordsman, it's typically bonus damage, but that only actually helps us if he hits. 24 damage off a non-critical spear hit. Yeah, that's got to be bonus damage. might regret blocking off the space here for Julian, but we'll see. There's a gross sound effect. Seven damage with a non-crit. Holy shit. Uh, I think we're just gonna have Julian sit here. Yeah, we're gonna have to move everybody out to the center on this next round. Yeah, this is gonna be a brutal round coming up right here. Yeah, basically the entire party is going to be take a face full of lightning here. Ooh, Downhort can't really afford to do it either. We'll put him back a little bit. Okay, how far can this guy move? Pretty far. Want to avoid that guy coming forward on us. We'll... Yeah, we'll stay away from this one, but we'll go space away from it. Uh, 
Bridget's in a little bit of danger here too from the Pegasus. Kate can go here to get in on the Aura, as can Julian, who is very good friends with the ladies right now. I think Gracia, this is a bad move, Gracia is gonna take another face full of lightning on the next round. He's, he doesn't have enough movement to get out. Okay, thankfully, though, the enemies are not going forward on us. Missing a bit of HP when we charge forward here, which is kind of bad. Ooh, Donhort can't even get into position. Uh, this is actually really bad. I don't know if the rest of the guys are actually going to be able to make it in. Okay, Edmund can do it. They're about to get rocked by a big ass tornado from that uh, priest there, too. Well, we've got this, at least. I think sleep is actually the best here. I don't want that Pegasus killing anyone. Damn it! So that really sucked. Mostly sucks for her, since... Uh, she's probably going to be the one taking the hit from him right away. Yes! Kate pulls through once again. Say, pulling my buddy's bacon out of the fire. Beautiful. Um, so in that case, there's no sense putting Julian on the other side. Uh, we'll put him here. He'll take a face full of lightning, as will Gracia, but we'll aura all of them on the next round. Oh, and he just wants to smack him with the stick. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. What the fuck is he doing? Fucking lizard brained dudes. Okay, uh, so this makes things pretty easy for us. Yeah, we can probably two-shot this priest with just these guys here. Okay, you can see the bit of damage on the ground, too, around where it's gonna do the lightning. Which means that I can, uh... Yeah, Lizardman's not even gonna make it out of the uh, lightning field. So we'll move Bridget up. Edmund can just sit here. Ah, there we go with those unnecessary crits. Oh shit, that's actually a, like a, a special thing right there. Okay, let's see how far Gracia can move. Oh yeah, we can we can everything can go exactly the plan if we do it this way. Or can it? Actually I'd prefer Gracia to go in the center. Yeah, he can. So we'll do it like this. Ooh, we're and we've only got one aura left for the boss fight. That's a bit tricky.
New spell! What the fuck? Pretty sure in uh, the last couple scenarios, mages and priests would learn a new spell like every two levels. Two or three levels. Probably not every two levels, more like every three levels. Uh, so he's about to get blasted by lightning again. Oh shit! Uh, Julian got caught there. Eh, yeah, that's fine. He has, like, a billion HP by now. So, Donhort, huh? Let's see if we can bait him out. Yeah, all of this kind of sucks. Edmund naturally heals, so I don't mind him uh, taking a bit of lightning. And Gracia has got to go for the staff here, because that's our objective. So Julian can get out of, get out of the lightning. And Gracia can move towards that staff. Oh fuck, he's out of aura. Uh, someone in the party had a, a goddess tier, I think, but I can't remember who. I don't know, we'll see what this guy's got. Windstorm, that is a new one. Got a weird party distribution right here. All the weaklings to the right, all the tanky dudes to the left. It's not an interact? I'm afraid I'm gonna do something wrong here. Do they just want us to attack it? That's the default option here. I was expecting an interact to be necessary, but... Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, that was not the thing we were supposed to do. So he's taking lightning again. As is Edmund. Oops. <laughs> Maybe try using our staff on it, if that's an option. Or that would be equip use. Did I misread something here? Let's see what the tactician has to say. We tried that already. Oh, the Shining Magic. Um, I don't think I have the MP for that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, uh, who's got the who's got the MP up here? Yeah, it's probably good. I need to get into the habit of uh, reading our good old tactician's advice. Uh, so he's still gonna get lightning tier, which is bad. Uh, we'll just have him heal himself with one of these. So it didn't matter how many charges of aura we had left anyways. He's going to be out of MP regardless after this. Uh, so yeah, everybody 
yeah, all hands on deck here should probably heal themselves. Or no, Archer. Archer Lady had the healing drop, right? Or the, what was it, Goddess Tear? Oh, we're gonna waste all of that MP, too, on this frickin' Shining spell. Okay, let's try this again. seem to do nothing. Okay, here we go. Ah, I was hoping it would explode or something. Ah, uh, so that's really advantageous for us if they're all gonna pass their turns here. Oh, is Gracia about to leave the party? I have a feeling he's about to get blown up. Okay, cool. That was just him messing with the staff. Uh, so... Yeah, I think this is how we do it. Man, Donhort just seems to have advantage against frickin' everything here. Oh, I think she's just short of, uh, yeah, being able to cast Lightning too. Wish I'd have planned that out a little bit better. Oh, uh, does Julian have a charge of Lightning, though? I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, he can even do Lightning too, which we might need. I think the lightning one will do it. Uh-oh. Uh, this could be very, very bad. Eh, it's not a disaster. Depending on what this fan guy has, somebody might go down. Okay, the question is, we have no way of knowing this, but does his spell here do dispersed damage, or...? fixed damage. I think I'm going to assume it's dispersed just because it looks kind of unusual. Also, let's spread the damage out to try to get everyone at once with this spark. Or let's just, you know, fucking murder him with one shot. Because that's what Kate does. Forget Sniper, she's a fucking assassin, this one. And yeah, Julian can't get in range to do shit anyways. Actually, I might as well make it the Spark 2 here. Because yeah, he's going to be just running in and then uh, slashing him with the sword after this anyways. Oh, we got another... I think we already got a Power Onk in this fight, but whatever. I'll drop the Healing Drop for it. Uh, yeah, so he's got nothing left. Oh, I thought that would be worth 1 XP at least. Oh, he's just gonna hit me. Yep, that's... <laughs> that's pretty much my reaction to that attack, too. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I was getting all, like, nervous, or it's like, oh shit, he's really pleased about something. I wonder if he's gonna one-shot my guy. Nope. Ooh, this is actually her last spell here. Yeah, that was like some, like, sh scenario one English voice acting tier voice acting right there. Ooh, we might actually need to pull him out here. Actually, no, I think I'm just gonna have Gracia move up and uh, use a healing drop on him. Okay. Can she do 62 damage in one shot? She's not even gonna get, get a crit. Oh well, we don't really need it. If he just pulls some bullshit out of out of his ass here to kill someone, I'm gonna be angry. Well, there's some bullshit. Let's see what it does. Looks like it had a two-panel range, so it can't be that strong. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong, guys. I think everyone should survive this. Maybe Gracia goes down. Oh no, he's fine. But yeah, grouping everyone up was not was not the smart move on on that one. So who needs levels here? Probably Julian. Maybe Edmund. I'm overthinking this. Everyone's gonna get level ups eventually, and honestly, people can miss. That, that actually could potentially be a difficult boss fight if you, uh... Hey there, Legal Freedom. Uh, this is pretty easy so far. I say having already died and game overed on the previous fight, but it's still early. We'll see how it goes. It is definitely more interesting already than, uh, the early parts of the previous scenarios. We're getting crazy gimmick fights. Like, what, four battles in already and half of them have been crazy gimmick fights? Uh, I was hoping we would, get, we would get to grab the staff. Yeah, I noticed he was holding on to that power wind there. So if he's lost wait, if he's lost control of the Valkyrie, then what's it's gonna what's it gonna do now? Oh, it's been relieved of duty. So it's it's just like on break right now. It's going on leave. Seeing it used for an invasion. What the fuck else is it good for? <laughs> it's a giant floating mushroom that shoots lightning. It's like, no. Our giant death, destruct, death and destruction super weapon must only be used for good. Don't do it. Um... Seems like the nice guy thing to do here is to let her take him. Honestly, I doubt that we actually have a choice here anyways. I'm just gonna let her do it. She seems trustworthy. Honestly, just sparing everyone you come across seems to be the, op the optimal decision at every point in the previous scenarios. We got screwed over for killing Spiriel. We got screwed over for killing uh, Stella. Yeah. I think we made the right call here. Oh, 
Oh, does, uh... Shit, I said I was gonna remember this guy's name. <laughs> There's a Ront, and... There was another A name, I think. So apparently he is not up to speed on what's going on... ...back on the mainland. Oh, did, was that actually an important decision? Oh, mo That's the other tricky thing with these games, is half... In fact, more than half of the decisions make no difference whatsoever. It's just like, oh, you picked this thing, we're gonna do the other thing instead. Like, I think pretty much all the way through Scenario 2, the game just ignored all of the decisions that I made. So I'd be like, yes, do the thing, and the game's all like, nah, we're not gonna do the thing. But then occasionally it drops one, like apparently this one, on you, where it actually does have an impact. Which I don't mind, it kind of keeps you on your toes. Just the illusion that your decisions might matter is a is a good thing, I think, to have in the game. Oh, that was my phone going off there. I'll check that in a second. I mean, honestly, it's I don't even think it's a bad thing that... Uh, yeah, that the game would throw a cho an impactful choice like that at you. Like I said, there are good hints as far as the way things have worked in the game so far that you want to be a nice guy and spare people as much as possible. So I don't think it's a hard decision if you if you know at this point that sometimes you can make bad, wrong decisions. You should know the score at this point. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, it wasn't Tall Gracia there, you know, the other party members helped out just a little bit. Who the fuck are you to talk, you frickin'? You look like someone's fursona. Who are you calling a freak? Shit, General Steel dropping some truth bombs here. <laughs> okay, I'll get I'll give him Edmund and Don Hort. Those guys are basically fuck ups and losers. The rest of the team though is solid. Like frickin' uh, Kate? Come on, you can't talk shit about Kate. There's just no no smack to be talked about her. Yeah, no shit. It's like, oh wait, there was those three guys who got slaughtered on the previous battle. I guess they deserve some of the credit, too. Legitimately, they used up all of that first guy's uh, MP, so we didn't have to worry about him. It's like, yeah, we were just gonna wait for you to kill him before we kill him. Oh, she's modest, too. It really had nothing to do with the Julian army. It was really all her. <laughs> I really want to say yes here. I really want to say yes. I'm all paranoid now because that last decision was apparently impactful. I don't want to fuck things up. I really wanted to kick his ass, though. <laughs> 
God, what a shitty prince. I think Arant would have made a better emperor after all. This guy just fucking does what people tell us. Yeah, that's right. Why is he for letting this guy just say and do whatever he wants anyways? He's the prince in this situation. Doesn't he outrank him? And also, he's a dumbass, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, Steel actually makes a good point here. This guy, yeah, this guy's a frickin' flake. It's like, I'll give you my ship. No, we need our ship. Okay, you can't have our ship. Magaron, that was his name. That's fine, I didn't want to go inside the castle anyways. That looks like a shitty castle. I was looking forward to getting that flagship, though. Oh yeah, it looks like it was only four... No, what was it? It was the boat fight, the fight in town... Or the fight on the docks, rather. Yeah, and then the two fights against the super weapon. That was only four battles in that chapter. Honestly, Megaron was plenty grateful at first. He's like, Ah, oh, Gracia, you're awesome. You've defeated all those guys by yourself. And he's like, Hey, it's... Ju uh, Julian Army kind of did it too. Oh yeah, Julian Army, you guys are great. You guys did all the work. You guys are awesome. And then Steel's all like, are they really though? And he's like, I don't know, are they really? And he's like, don't they kind of suck? And he's like, yeah, they kind of suck. Man, I really hope this Magaron jackass doesn't end up becoming Emperor in the end. It's gotta be, gotta be Median, right? That would be a perfect ending, I think. You get uh, Medi you get Median as like the reigning monarch, kind of a figurehead. Uh, you get uh, good old Symbios as gen chief general, captain of the army, and all that. And then we get uh, Julian here, elected president. Like I said, I think that would be the perfect ending. There really are almost always conflicts in the upper levels of the Empire. I'm surprised that this place, that this, the whole thing is held together this long. Really, it's got, it's Domerick's Iron Will basically holding all of these, this just band of traitors and rogues together at the top levels of the Empire. Wait, we've abandoned Destonia now? Did I miss a memo there? <laughs> I like how, uh, how little Bridget over there is just not even involved in this conversation. She's just like, I'm just gonna go sit over here and polish my staff or something while you guys talk about whether the Empire or the Republic is full of the bigger band of dickweeds.
so we're basically abandoning both the Republic and the Empire to become a bunch of anarchists. This sounds like an excellent plan to me. Oh great, Kate joined. I wonder if she's any good. I was under the impression that she had joined us already, but cool. At least now it's official. I don't know, like I said, I'm kind of looking forward to a showdown with Steel and his army. Cool, we should go there immediately after exploring every single barrel and crate in town for stuff. We got some items uh, that I think we want to use before we go forward. I think we got a couple of those power onks. Ooh, Tornado 3. Um, I think that would actually go better on Gracia than his current staff of Besom. Oh, he can't. It's, it's attached to him, isn't it? He can't take it off. That's lame. So really, nobody's really good to uh, use the Ankh here. Because, yeah, Bridget's already using rods. I guess we'll just keep it for later. Oh, yeah, and we got that power wine we want to use. Uh, probably just put it on Julian. else have we got? So I kind of want to use the the honey there on Gracia to get his MP up. The problem is, is just because of his role in the story and everything, I'm not entirely sure that he's going to stick with the party all the way through. I can easily see him like dying or getting kidnapped or just leaving for some damn reason or another. So I don't think I want to invest in him just yet. Also, even if we do give him bonus MP, he'll just use it all up with his stupid shine attack anyways. So with that, I think we're good to go. Oh, we're just back in the same town we were in uh, earlier. Wait, who's this guy? Okay, so if this is the same, is the same town, then we don't need to uh, check every barrel and crate again. Oh, I never did visit the inn, did I? Right, because I was afraid that this would progress the plot uh, by going in here. 
Oh, I wonder if we missed any party members in uh, Chapter 1 by not going in here. I doubt it. But that would be pretty funny. Honestly, I think the best thing for the Empire at this point is just for the for Domeric to take another wife and have and try again with another kid. Friggin' Arant is a uh, just a complete jackass and an idiot. Uh, this uh, Magaron guy is a weakling and an idiot. Uh, Median is a cool guy but a traitor. Insubordinate and a traitor. Yeah, I, th I think there's just nothing for nothing for the Empire but for just Domeric to roll the dice again, take another wife, have another son. Okay, looks like we didn't miss much in the end. I think I'll double check at the shop just in case they added any uh, new weapons or deals or anything. Oh yeah, that's right, we got money now so we can buy some accessories. And we've got some extra garbage, so yeah, that'll get us even more money. is actually weaker than uh, pretty much everything in the game. Like that, that, That's basically a tier 1 axe. Like a pre-promotion axe, even. Actually, the shop doesn't even sell axes yet. Is there anything useful for my party here? I've already got the halberd and the power spear. Already got the battle blade. Oh, we can get a hunter knife. Oh yes, uh, I want to get that to uh, Edmund here. Boo. Oh, I should have sold Edmund's Unk. Okay, I'll transfer his uh, healing daily to uh, to Gracia. Actually, I can probably transfer the... Yeah, Edmund doesn't need Fairy Powder since he knows Antidote innately, so... Yeah, Gracia doesn't have any type of Antidote. We can give that to him, free up inventory space, and get him the knife. We do have the battle blade already, right? Yeah. And with that, I think we're good. Oh, we could get a, a new rod. For Bridget. But I don't think either of these is as good as sleep for her. Oh, that'll be extra attack power, though.
Oh wait, she uses wands, not rods. Yeah, forget that. Uh, so with that, oh yeah, that's right. We said we were gonna. The guy told us to meet up at the church, which means I maybe don't want to do that. I think I want to check all the buildings a second time just in case a random party member has shown up. See, things are different here. Inside the looks like cur a curling rock factory. I don't know why it rotates the camera every time I talk to these guys. Oh, we fucked up the assembly line. What have I done? Man, there's a lot of stuff going on in this place now. Iron plates? Is that what this is? Eh, they still look like curling rocks to me. Oh, we can go back in here. Oh, yeah, that that's right. We uh, checked this place out already. Ah, uh, so that was a fun little diversion. Yeah, I am going to check all the houses again, just in case we're missing a party member. Actually, have we even gotten any party members since the, uh... What was it? After the second fight, we had the mage join, and I think that was it. Ain't gotten no one since then. Actually, we'll probably get a new one uh, once we meet up with the dudes at the church. You know what? I don't want to check all the buildings again. I'm just going to check the walkthrough to uh, see if it says that there is anyone to be found. Yeah, so apparently there's nothing to do here other than uh, just go to the church. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, we, uh, oh I got to make the decision now if I want to go out for game night. We'll see how long it takes me to get through this battle. Okay, we've got three people with portraits here. Surely at least one of them is going to join me. Hopefully the cute uh, elf-ish looking girl with the onk there. We get the Dragon Man. I'm guessing he's going to be a fist or claw user. Ah, uh, that sounds super awesome.
Don't you take Bridget away from me. No! No, I want Isabel instead of Bridget. Damn it. I wonder if she'll even join ever. Uh, yeah, I have no idea if she's even recruitable. Is it dragons? Do we get an, uh, do we get a dragon in the party right away? That would be sweet. Hmm, dragon ghosts though. Do you think that counts? I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, I was going to say, I see no enemies here. Uh, these guys are new. Uh, is this a ruin? No, it's not. I don't think this is going to be a ruin over there. I think that's just the other half of the map. we got a, several treasure chests here. Which makes me kind of suspicious that we're going to see Mimics right away, but I guess we'll see. Then why is the bri what's the point of a bridge if you can't walk on the bridge? Oh, that's tricky. So then how the hell do we get everyone off here? Although really it doesn't matter at all that he's alone over there if the enemies aren't gonna advance on him. Oh fuck. Me and my big stupid mouth. probably check and see if that fish has magic. Okay, I didn't think so. That would have been really bad for us if the fish had magic. And we're seeing all sorts of new enemies on this. Oh, they're flying fish. I would not have expected that. Ah, uh, so that's bad. Kate should be able to contribute here. We should be fine. Oh my god! This is got, this is kind of ridiculous. Oh, she's got the friendship bonus bonus from Julian. That explains that. I don't know if I want him to heal himself just yet. He 
should be able to survive one more attack, and I think that Dragon Man here is, uh... Finger slipped. There we go. Yeah, there's no way that Dragon Man doesn't finish him off right here. Bonk. So what else is going on with Dragon Man here? Does he have magic? I think all of our other fistymen have had magic. Or no, that's right, the... Yeah, the monks have magic, but the beasts just have claws with no magic. I think I want to wait for this guy to come to me. Ah, there we go. So is this going to be every bridge on this map? You're just not allowed to stand on it? That is not good that I let him get the first hit there. Huh. Let's try it. Okay, yeah, we got to cross all the bridges. Actually, we'll have advantage here, and that's... let's go for it. Ah, uh, Crick probably would have one-shotted him. No! Oh! Um, okay, let's get her way the hell away from that. Okay, we should win this fight. Wow, Dunhort, for all of his HP there, is not nearly as tanky as I would like. Oh, and also Gracia is about to get rocked again. I should, pro I should have put the life ring on someone more important than Edmund. Ah, that's good. One shot, one shot, one shot! Oh, come on. You'd think crabs would have a weakness to fire or something. Roast them up nice and tasty. Saves us a full turn there. That's beautiful. And the level up. Edmund's becoming kind of a tanky guy right here. I think he's gotten just two defense per level up solidly every single time. You know, I think it's actually better to help have these guys work on each other's enemies for friendship points. And that unnecessary crit. Um, I don't... I do not think I want him going solo over on the side there. Okay, we're splitting up the party a little more than I would like here. We'll probably waste a couple rounds here just to regroup. Oh shit, I didn't think he'd get another turn. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, there's no way that this is all there is to this map. Oh wow, we got a lot of guys who need healing right here.
したまえ。So what does our tactician have to say about this one? Probably just the stuff about the bridges. Yep. Like this is gonna cause more fish to pop out, right? Yep. Oh, crabs. Oh shit, we've got crabs. And there goes the other bridge. I think I'm fine with that. That's interesting, so it isn't walking across the bridges that causes the bridges to collapse. It's crossing invisible thresholds on the map. Oof, Donhort is taking a beating here. Uh, he's not going to survive much longer at this rate. Didn't even get fully healed off that aura there. It's up to Julian. Good start, good start. Mm. Coming up just a bit short here. Okay, yep, Gracia can't get in range. If he gets his turn, if, if that skeleton gets his turn before Don Hort, we're fucked. Okay, now the big question is... Do we risk... Yeah, I don't think I can risk a miss here. We're gonna pull Don Hort back. Oh, cool, it didn't even matter. Keeps happening. I don't want Gracia to fall behind, so we'll have a move up with the others. So who's gonna cross the bridge alone here? Probably Julian because uh, he's the one guy who can probably handle himself best. Ooh. Yeah, Bridget, Bridget hasn't gotten to do anything on this map so far. This is probably not a smart move, but I don't know. I felt it was time for her to get in on the action. Really hope this doesn't spawn a fish behind my other party members there. Okay, th whatever this is, it seems even worse. Oh god, it's a pirate skeleton? Are you sure? There's that other doorway over on the other side. Maybe this is the whole map, after all. Well, I really hope Julian can handle himself now. Okay, what do we got? Ah, uh, so that's not great. Oh, that's really not great. He's going in for it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have Bridget just finish the crab off by herself. Uh, she'll just drain to get her HP back. And yeah, we're going to rush forward here to basically rescue Julian. That's really handy, having her able to just suck the life out of enemies. It's 
one less person that we have to heal every round. Ooh, that guy's got a lot of HP. Well, I think he's got healing items in his inventory, so he should be fine. Oh, and he can two-shot this guy. Yeah, we're fine. So this will be interesting. Does he promote right now, or...? That's not a bridge, it's a plank. Come on. Uh, yeah, we got a bit of a breather here to get the healing on Dawnhort. Ooh, they're all running up on us. Yeah, we need to intercept those guys before they uh, rush in on Julian. Ooh. Okay, how far can this guy move? Pretty far, actually. Yeah, that antidote herb is not gonna do much for him. I was really hoping for a healing drop to drop right there. Okay, good. We seem to have aggroed the ghoul patrol over here. Huh. There's no good way to set this up, though, so that we can actually kill this guy. Yeah, I think we actually want to take a kind of a defensive position here. Things are kind of horrible all of a sudden. Mm. Yeah, okay, we'll split the party till that fish is dealt with. Oh, he's not blocking the bridge, is he? That would be a disaster. Oh, that was bullshit. I would not have... Okay, good. He survived that, but still, I would not have set this up like that if I knew that the fish was coming. Actually, I think I want to go for the mummy here. Oh, it's not quite good enough. We need Gracia to get his turn right the hell now. That's not gonna cut it. Fuck's sake, this bridge thing is ruining us. Yeah, I did not set this up intelligently. Uh, Gracia maybe goes down here if I handle it like this. I don't think we have a choice, though. Honestly, Dragon Man's turn should come up right away, too. Okay, cool. So he can finish off this guy, and that'll block off the path to Gracia there. He can still get double-teamed by one mummy. 
Yeah, honestly, he's still gonna die, but he's the newest party member, so he doesn't have any friends, so that's not... Like, of all the people in the party to lose, he's the one who sets us back the least if he goes down. Yeah, he's gonna go for him. And then the giant skeleton's gonna finish him off. Then the fish is gonna go for Gracia. That's my prediction. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> I love how it fades out right, uh, right as he does that front flip. There we go. Okay, it's gonna be dicey, but there's a chance that we'll be able to two-shot that guy. Also, I've got tons of MP, so yeah, we're just gonna do this. Ah, I was hoping we would get enough damage there. Yeah, Edmund's got to finish it off. Or does he? We might actually want to protect our healer here. Or not the healer, the, uh, the mage. But again, she's just about out of MP anyways. Ooh, that's good stuff. Though I am going to move her over a bit so that she can cross the, bir the bridge next round. Fuck's sake. Why, Kate? You, you are the perfect... You have stained your perfect record. Now we're in big trouble because the killer fish and the giant skeleton can probably team up on whoever they want and just kill them outright. Now the fix to that is Gracia casts Shine on the killer fish and we just hope and pray that it does 22 damage. I'm gonna do it. Surely a fucking magic spell that drains all of your MP can do 22 damage. Oh wow, that, yeah, that's a lot more than 22 damage. Good job, Gracia. You killed the thing. Surely you deserve a new spell? Fuck. Aura 2 is the last thing that I want at this point. If anything, a nice single target hero. Uh, single target heal would be best here. Oof! Okay, lucky that wasn't a crit. So we got three party members with melee attacks. Oh, wait, no, I don't want the power spear. We should be able to get this guy down in one round here. Oh, I want her to drain, though. Actually, no. If we can surround this guy, then he won't be able to break out and get to her. 26 to his 21. Yeah, she should get a turn before Julian as well. Also, this is an axe guy, so yeah, our sword guys will have advantage. Yeah, this guy's fucked.
Man, here I was thinking this battle would take a friggin' hour or something. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna put Kate there, but I just realized I did want to walk my guys to the doorway here to see if there was anything back there. We're gonna have to sustain a lot of rounds of this skeleton beating on us, though. Like, I know what's just gonna happen if I do this, is he's gonna get a crit and one-shot someone. Probably Don Hort. No, he's not going for Don Hort. Yeah, nobody's gonna get to those doors in time. Uh, we'll just finish this, I think. Yeah, I see no reason not to. So that was a cool map. Did we? He's kind of still standing there. Can you tell that just by looking at him? He, he, look, he looks strong enough to stand on his two legs and raise his arms. Oh yeah, I was wondering about that... Uh, that seeming arm cannon on his arm there. He never actually did use that. I mean, I sure hope it's not the correct cave. Uh, I mean, do I have a choice here? Yes, I'm going to listen to the god child. It's really not that difficult of a decision to lead the force into danger. Literally every decision I've made throughout the course of all three of these scenarios has led the force into danger. Oh shit, Dragon Man's dead. We're gonna have to egress out of this next fight anyways. I believe this is new music. Yeah, this should be right up his alley. Oh, hey, it's what's her name? I mean, did she follow us? It seems like she was here before us. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Sniff You Smell was not the best opening line of negotiation there. Okay, so Dragon Man's dragon-speaking powers do not work on zombie dragons.
Shit, Don Hort, how hard did you tackle him? I guess it wouldn't, I guess he basically, basically got run over by a horse there. So yeah, I guess, I guess he can spend a few moments on the ground <laughs> getting over that. Why is there a horse? Like an actual horse here all of... Yeah, I don't think that uh, white horse up there has been with Jane the other times we've seen her. Like, is that horse even with her? I kind of assume so, because it's standing next to her. Oh, is she going to be all like, take my pony? Take this pony as a token of my appreciation for not killing the evil guy earlier. Oh, wow, that's literally what's about to happen. Oh, it's a unicorn. Oh, yeah, I can see she's got the tiny little, tiny little, tiny little horn there. Yeah, you can see it better when she turns to the side. Um... Like, there's no way we say no to this, right? Is this is this a literal Trojan horse right here? Yeah, why on earth would you... Here, take this unicorn. No, I don't want a unicorn. Who says that, honestly? I can't wait to see this thing in battle. <laughs> Okay, what's our new pony good for? Oh wow, she's got magic. Antidote. <laughs> you know, I don't think we've ever had more than one party member with Antidote. Or no, I think Scenario 1, our monk, had Antidote, I think. Anyways, uh, Dragon Man died in the last fight, so uh, we're going to have to egress out and uh, get him back anyways. Can we ride the pony? That would be awesome. Final Fantasy Tactics lets you, road cho uh, lets you ride chocobos, but I don't think I've ever seen another tactical RPG that lets you basically mount your monster party members. Oh, and yeah, now we can see if we uh, can promote at this point, too. If this guy will talk to us. Hello? There we go. Yeah, it's probably level... If we do get promotions, it'll probably be at level 20. Man, <laughs> if there is another set of promotions after this, those are uh, revivals are going to get pricey by the time we get to the end of the game. So I think I am going to go to game night tonight, but I think I still have enough time to do this next fight before that, so that's what we're going to do. Oh yeah, also I was going to decide who gets the life ring. Also, what other usables did we get on that last map? We can probably store away the mithril, but I'm too lazy to... Uh, Go back to base for that. Actually, yeah, we are going to have to give away the Mithril to uh, free up space for him to take off the ring.
So who are we going to give this thing to? Julian's probably the most tanky guy in the party, so I don't think he needs it that much. Uh, Gracia would be good. That would save him the trouble of having to heal himself. Don Hort. Why is Don Hort taking so much damage from enemies? He's got more defense than anyone. Whatever, he's got an accessory already, so he's fine. Everyone's pretty even on defense. Okay, Cyclops is a frontline fighter with kind of crappy defense, so I think I'm gonna give it to him. Although Bridget's really low on defense, to the point where she's kind of in danger of getting one-shotted. But then the HP regeneration won't really help her with that. Yeah, we'll give it to Cyclops. Uh, yes? How would I know? No. So, there was a secret passageway somewhere in here, right? Oh yeah, that's, yeah, the open trap door right in front of us. Oh, now it's not too dangerous to stop on the bridge. Which I guess is only fair. That would be the, a hilarious but stupid thing if you just drop into the water and game over by stopping on the bridge here. So yeah, like I said, we are going to do this next fight, but I am going to go to the bathroom first. So we'll be back in just a minute.
Okay. Didn't even really get a good chance to see the lay of the land here. What do we got going on? Same enemies as the previous map. Pretty much. Like if this just... Oh, right, we got dragons. Dragons are a thing here. That makes this actually quite a bit different from the last map. We only got one dragon, though. I think we'll be fine. Hmm. Dragon's not a boss, though. It's like, these guys are way out of the way, and I kind of don't want to deal with them. But I think we'll have to in the end anyways. Let's just charge up and see if they'll come to us. What magic did the horse know again? Antidote and charm. Okay, yeah, looks like they're gonna charge up on us anyways. So, unless there's any ambushes or anything, this looks like kind of an easy map. Oh, what the hell, there's three dragons. Somehow the other two dragons just kind of escaped my notice. Ah, uh, so if, yeah, if they're just gonna sit there and do nothing. And nobody's gonna be able to keep up with Don Hort, though. Okay, if our archer can get into position to hit the fish... Oop, she can. Yeah, we'll get Don Hort to kick things off here. So this area is all misty and stuff. Is that gonna fuck up the animations like it did in uh, the, that, uh, that dock battle in Scenario 2? I kind of want to cast Charm on the Crab here, just to see if it works. Ah, we've only got 20 MP though, so that's only two casts. Oh, she can actually get uh, in range to hit the Crab though. Awesome! Pony times are upon us. Oh, and yeah, Julian can get in to actually uh, finish it off with the dagger. Ah, the milk. I forgot to use the milk. There are no enemy mages on this map, as far as I can tell. So yeah, this should actually be super easy. I love how the archers in this game can just fire all types of lasers out of their bows. You know, you'd think laser bows would be more of a thing in science fiction games. I don't know, I think it's a cool idea. Um... I don't know. Once again, Don Hort can charge in, but he's got no follow-up. Oh yeah, we also kind of need to check the rocks for uh, pickups. I want to move her up a little bit, but not a ton. Just so that she's in range to... Uh, Go on those dudes next turn.
Actually, this could work for us. <laughs> Endless crits. I don't think I'm going to rush up to finish that guy off, though. What we're going to do is get these guys to guard her sides. I don't know, we could get pony tons here to finish them. Nah, it's not worth it. She actually doesn't seem that tanky. So yeah, I don't think we want her in the front lines. Oh wait, yeah, we can put we can put Julian right here and he can spark. And then that blocks off that passageway just as well. I don't know that this is going to do 20 damage, though. This might have been a bad idea. Okay. I think this is a perfect fight so far. I don't think a single party member has taken any damage. Uh, do we trust him to do 25 damage? Eh, let's go for it. If he gets the crit, he'll definitely get it. Boo. I hope he doesn't just fucking die here. With the life ring, he shouldn't. Because he's got extra defense off of that. Oh yeah, he's fine. Good stuff. Holy shit. He's got big level ups. I, I don't think we've seen a single other party member get two points across the board on a level up. Uh-oh. Where is he gonna land? <laughs> this is like tension. Massive amount of tension right now. If he lands in a horrible space, we are in a horrible place. Okay, if he's just gonna park his butt over there, we're fine. Yeah, Bridget needs levels here, so I think I'm going to try to get the kill to her. Oh shit, uh, yeah, she's not even close to getting this. New spell, new spell, new spell! Come on! That's going to be, what, three levels she's gained at this point with no additional magic? That just doesn't fly. Okay, Edmund's fine to get XP here. Kind of hoping for Edmund to get spells right away on the level up here, too, just so I can have my fun of complaining about how him and his dorky-ass fencing stance get new spells before all of my spellcasters. Uh, right, uh, Cyclops needs a bit of help here. The enemies are really spread out on this map. Like, I think we're gonna have to go out of our way to kill everything here if we wanna get... if we wanna maximize our XP gains. Because, yeah, if we wanted to, we could just rush the boss right now and be done with all of this.
Okay, let's reverse formation right here to deal with the guys coming up from behind. You know, starting right in the middle of uh, sort of the character progression curve is actually a pretty big downside for a lot of my characters here. They don't have any of the spells that they would have started with as sort of pre-promoted level ones. Like we don't have our heal one or our uh, our blaze one or anything like that, which means all of our magic spells take up a ton of magic points. The trade-off, I guess, will be eventually, once we promote again, we'll get a bunch of even more awesome magic spells later in the game. But yeah, for now, we're just kind of... Just kind of eating up all of that MP very rapidly. Oh, you know what? I should probably... Wrong class? What? Oh, right, to equip. Yeah. I like how the... How the error message for trying to equip Fairy Powder is wrong class, as if there's some other class out there that can equip this stuff. But, uh... Yeah, what I actually wanted to do here was put on the Battle Blade. Really just uh, sending Gracia up there to try to bait out the ghoul. Yeah, I think we'll just split up the party here. They'll all take a bunch of damage, and then we'll regroup and heal them all with a nice big aura from Gracia. Oh dang, that skeleton didn't die somehow. I need to start thinking about who I want to charm with the unicorn here. Uh, do we want to bring Gracia up with... Oh, so are these caves off to the side? They kind of look like it, but they also kind of look... Yeah, they are! Oh shit, we got a ruins here. This changes everything. Um, okay. We're gonna have to delay quite a bit here. Because yeah, we want Don Hort to be the first one in. Uh, that's actually fine. She actually, that actually lets her make use of that antidote spell, finally. Uh, yeah, I don't want to waste any time getting into the ruins. We'll uh, send him back. Yeah, that ghoul is super slow, so we should be fine. Yeah, to just run away here. Oh, I forgot to antidote. Shit. I 
I'm actually going to make a battle save here before we enter the ruins, just in case it does the stupid thing from previous games where the thieves suddenly jump, jump out when you get too close. The fuck was that noise he just made? Uh, so Julian can't go into the ruins anyways. Is there any sense in sending Bridget in? She's got the lowest movement out of everyone. Although there, there's no reason to keep her out, I guess. So yeah, we'll just pile everyone into the ruins over there. Oh yeah, we can get Edmund to use his antidote. That'll save... Uh, that'll save oh, Rolly's MP you. for the charm. Uh, actually, Rolly's got a lot of movement, too. We probably want her to be among the first ones in the ruins. But we want her and Don Horton at the same time, so yeah, we'll just hold them back for now. Okay, I was hoping for another crit there so I could hear that crazy voice acting again. So far, I think the battles in this game have been, and again, it's still very early, but I think it's been a decent balance between the difficulty of Scenarios 1 and 2. Scenario 1 was kind of bullshit in places, whereas Scenario 2 was just kind of pathetic, walk all over it, easy. This one's not exactly pathetic levels of difficulty, but it is still definitely a lot easier than Scenario 1. Okay, let's send everyone into the ruins, finally. <laughs> oh, I think I've got... I gotta make that. That'd be a good little uh, voice clip for some sort of notification for the channel here. Like, I don't know, if someone hosts, we can have him yell, I can't even do that with... How do you even do that? How does the human voice even make that sound? I guess it can't. That's why he's a dragon man. Oh yeah, I don't need... I don't want to bring Julian in there. Oh, I wish you could rename characters in this game. We could have Trogdor and Ponyta and all sorts of awesome character names going on here. Uh, so it is actually... Um, turn order is actually important here. We want whoever's first in turn order to be the first one into the ruins so that everybody gets in on the same round. Don Hort is 29, so it looks like he's first. So yeah, we want Don Hort to be the first one in, and then everyone else. I 
think I'm going to leave Gracia and Julian out here, and then they're going to try to aggro that dragon so we can do something productive while all this is going on. Okay, so now it's Don Hort's turn, and once again, we're going to make a safety save to make sure we don't fuck this up. Um, you know what, Kate? Mm, yeah, Kate's not going to be helpful if she doesn't get in there first round with everyone else. And she'll be definitely helpful against that dragon. So that's how we're going to do it. Oh, and for some reason, the dragon down there can't even fly up here. All right, what bullshit have we got here? Uh, this looks complicated. That guy might not even get a chance to come in and attack us. Okay, so you gotta move a character next to the door and uh, waste their turn to let the others go in. So he's gonna grab this, he's gonna grab that, and then he's gonna head for the exit. And so we're trying to get up there with as few actions as possible. Like, this just seems like a waste of time. I think we go up the center door. Actually, no, I think this might be the best way to do it. Because, yeah, it's going to take us two turns to get to the, to the center door anyways, so... Yeah, Bridget can do that. Also, I wonder if it's just in that first ruins that the, uh... That the chests were unlocked, or if that's just a permanent thing from now on. Also, an important philosophical question... I think has just come up here. Can unicorns open doors? I think there's a reasonable chance that Kate just one-shots this guy with the bonus attack and with the potential crits. Ah. Look at that! She totally would have one-shotted him with a crit. Uh, yeah, there's no way the enemies are going to be grouped up enough to spark them all, so I think we just do this. And eh, we'll hold for now, see how this goes. Yeah, that's what I thought he would do. Ha! What the fuck? I think this is the first time I've ever seen our party members get a turn before the thief. What's he got? What are we playing for here? Lucky Cookie, that's a reasonable find. You know, I think Rolly here might actually get to the chest before the thief. Oh, he's too close for her. Uh, can we hit this guy? Yeah, let's do it. Crit, crit. Oh yeah, that's right. The crit won't do it now because she doesn't have the... Uh, the bonus damage from uh, Julian. Well, we got our leveling nice and even, at least.
Oh shit, I didn't think that was going to be close enough. Okay, that hurts. Man, the three of them are just going to wipe all the enemies. Oh, now we got to be careful not to do the thing where we... just one-shot the thief before we can take both the items off of him. Man, he tricked us. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to attack him now. It's all up to Gracia. Well, we can take this opportunity to... Hmm. That's actually a reasonable notion. Nah, we'll put it on Julian. Really disappointed they don't have a milk swigging animation right here. I think that would make the game so much better. Improves every game, really. If you got a milk swigging animation. Majora's Mask had it, and that game is friggin' awesome. <laughs> oh my god, where did you get that? <laughs> wow. Try sip is that Trihex? Oh, Trihex has got the best emotes. I think I saw another good one of his up above. Someday. Um, I actually think I value my items more than my MP right now, so yeah, we'll just do the wasteful aura right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can hardly even tell what that is. Oh, try RNG, so that's you praying to the RNG gods, I guess. Ah, I was hoping he wouldn't be able to make the distance there. Healing Rain is not that big a deal, however. So I think we're fine with this. Yeah, he's not going to be able to one-shot him. We're fine here. Oh, Dunhort, what are you doing? Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we didn't really need this many party members working on this after all. Uh, just gonna double check that there's nothing else to get here in the ruins. But I think we're good. We got our cookie, we got our healing rain. That's actually kind of garbage gains out of this one. This was hardly worth the time at all. I guess Roly got X some XP. So that's something. Honestly, I think I value the 30 XP that we got on Roly there more than the cookie or the healing rain. I mean, I, I, I know what luck does at this point. It's good for... Uh, it basically prevents insta-death, which is really good, especially against the uh, the optional bonus dungeon final bosses. And that's pretty much all it's good for. <laughs> or I think it prevents other status effects as well, but death is the main one that you're worried about. Oh, hey, this worked out perfectly. <laughs> Look at that. My bones are too strong for you to damage me. I chugged the power milk. Or the defend milk, something like that. It has it had a silly name.
protect milk. That was it. Uh, on the one hand, she'll do more damage against the flying guy. On the other hand... I think Cyclops is going to be able to get into range to punch it to death anyways. Yeah, we'll get her and Julian to finish off the Hermit Grab. Then the others can deal with the fish. So that was kind of a shitty level up. I like her skirt. I just noticed that. It has like a little bit of embroidery on it. Unicorn sounds like some kind of duck with uh, with her voice acting. Um, this thing's got two HP left, so I guess we'll just club him with the staff. Okay. So that's bad. Did he, did he just pass his turn? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We were going to charm someone on this map. I completely forgot about that. I mean, I guess we can try it now. Nah, I want Bridget to level up here, so we'll get her the kill. So I am going to try to get the last hit to Dragon Man here, just in case we actually get something out of this, but given the way they set it up, I kind of doubt it. Or maybe charm him with the unicorn, maybe that's the gimmick. Oh wow, he wants none of it. Seriously? Oof, this shouldn't kill him. Oh, I'm getting hungry. There's no way this works, right? This is just unnatural. Okay, good. It just wouldn't be right. Romance between a unicorn and a dragon. I know that's the kind of thing that people go crazy about on the internet. I'm sure the pairing is out there. I just don't care to hear of it. Yeah, I didn't think that would take him out. Okay, what's the damage gonna be? Oh shit, I didn't think you'd get over there. Okay, <laughs> that was a whole lot of dramatic buildup for uh, not a lot of payoff there. Hey, and Bridget gets the kill, probably. New magic, new magic, new magic! Attack! That's actually a really good one. Oh, if she learns attack, like level 2 attack later on, that would be amazing. Because attack is kind of really inefficient for what it does. But if we could get an attack level 2 to cast it on multiple people at once, that would be amazing.
So for as much as they built it up, that white dragon kind of wasn't shit. I don't think he was actually any tougher than the green dragons. This is this is a village. This place looks like a pain in the ass to navigate already. Um, I don't suppose there's a church inside one of these little hidey holes. Why am I having so such a hard time lining up my investigates here? There we go. Ah, uh, none of these holes looks particular. Oh, this has got to be the churchy place right here. Um, I don't think we lost anyone in that last fight either. Good stuff. So we're going to go explore this town next time. I think I'd... E even if I weren't going to game night here, I am super hungry right now. So I might be back on uh, later this evening to play either some more of this or some Azure Dreams. In that case, we'd be on in like four hours from now. Um, if not, we'll be back with more Shining Force 3 tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.